What's up, YouTube? This is uh, TJ Fussell. Um, I'm here real quick. I'm gonna prep this shirt up. You know, uh, I'm just to show you. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do American Eagle. Um, I hope that air compressor ain't too loud. Y'all can still hear me. Uh, I done got my colors mixed up. I'm using um, Wicked uh, colors. I'm using uh, orange, white, black, and yellow. So the first thing we'll be doing is a white. Make sure it's spraying good. I'm gonna show y'all how to use. I, I use uh, this right here. These stencils I'm using are from Coastal Airbrush. I found out that it's a it's a nice company. I bought a lot of stuff from them. So all we're doing here is with this white, we're just gonna hit the shirt real good. Just go through it, hit it real good all over. You just hitting a, um, all you're doing is putting down a base. It ain't gotta be too, too dark. Give it a second, just shoot it. I always uh, just run air through it, just push it down. Go ahead, hit the air to it. A lot of times I gotta, uh, I'll have a blow dryer here with me. And I'll hit that blow dryer for the heat to, um, to make it go ahead and set. I'll hit it. But it really ain't got to have it. Just take a hit that air to it, you'll see it dry. It dries super fast. Hit it one last time. Good solid texture all the way through. Once you got that done, pull it off. See how that is? It's nice. Huh? Now, on the last video, I had, um, I was just showing y'all how I just washed out by just taking and dropping it. Well, I'm gonna make this video a little faster. So I got me a, another spray, another bottle with just water in it. Just taking, hook it up just like that. Let's see how I work with this thing. Just spray straight water through it a couple times. Clean off your tip. And the ones of you that uh, paint your needle, don't forget when you go to put it up in the evening time to put your uh, your tip back on it that I told you I take off. If you're trying to do what I do, take make sure you put that tip back on it. Because even though you got it in your little holder, you may try to get up and step on that hose. And um, as soon as it falls, it's over. I mean, it's that tip will find the floor. Trust me. I have, I have done it several times. I just want y'all to be aware of it. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're gonna switch. Go to the black. I got a little box back there in the back. I'm just making sure. Uh -huh. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take and line my stencil up as good as I can. Want it to be almost perfect. Okay? And just very lightly hit your um hit your stencil. Just your stencil now. Don't try to go too crazy with it. And don't worry about any kind of overspray, because if you're gonna do like me, we're gonna take and come on outside of this and do like some design work. So you ain't got to stress too much worry about it. If uh, you one of the ones that can't um, stay in the line or you're just getting used to it and you're, you're trying to figure things out, take that outside piece that we put on there and uh, put you some adhesion spray and leave it on leave it on there. And take and sit this in the center of it. Um, that's probably, I probably should have showed you all that. Um, especially for the, new, the, the beginners there. Um, just like that. Uh, and you'll notice when you go to pull this off. Look at that. Can you see the detail in that? that? I mean, that's, I mean, that's turned out perfect. You can ask for a better eagle. Ah, uh, now, now is where this work starts getting fun. Um, 
Take the wash out to black. Get a good wash down. Once you got that done, throw it, make sure all the black's out of it. Okay, and we want to go to an orange. Okay. Spray your orange, make sure everything's good. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this regular stencil see this is the one you could I was telling you could have left you could have left this on there put put some adhesion spray on it but just make sure everything's lined up and just hit your arms in the beat You ain't want to go, it ain't got to be too crazy. You just want that orange popping out. Especially when we start putting other colors in with it. Okay. Alright. Now that I got that, I got my, where my orange needs to be. I'll take and blow it down just a little bit. And I'll come in and I'll just hit it as I need it. Build that up. You don't go don't go crazy with it because I got mine I got mine uh, diluted down so it won't be too strong. Plus I'm this is a kid's shirt. So. And I was gonna tell you, um, I have read where there's there's uh, some kids that's allergic to this stuff. Um, so and like I said, this is wicked colors right here. So I would be. What I would do is dry it a couple times in the dryer before I put it on the kid. But what I do with mine, after I'm through airbrushing it, I'll take and throw it in the dryer. I'll let it go for about 10 minutes, and then I'll pull it, pull it out, let it sit out for a little bit, and I'll put it back in for about 10, 15 more minutes. That just helps everything set. But if you if you put it on your kid and you see a little uh, it, him breaking out on his chest or something, because of the uh, light heat bumps, I mean, it could possibly be that he's allergic to this airbrush paint. Alright. Alright, when you think you got it where you want it. Please make sure that you you spray. yellow right here obviously it ain't reaching my little thing and the, like a dummy I ain't checking 
So, I'm just going to take some straight alcohol put it in there. Maybe won't dilute it down too much. But yeah, I got my own stuff that I usually dilute it down with. But this right here, alcohol will work. I don't like using it that much, but. Sometimes it works like this. All right, had a little, little problems with my yellow for a second, but I got it, got it worked out. All right, anyway, once you once you finally get your yellow to where you need it, take and go in there and that eye, and just hit that eye. Put your yellows in it. Get some straight air on it. I'm gonna come in here with this orange. Get a little yellow. Bring out the intensity of my orange. Get in there for that yellow. that is done. What I'm going to do, take this yellow off. Okay. What I'm going to do since I got that, take and go back to my black right here. Just show y'all real quick. Any kind of stencil that can help you, it'd be good. We're gonna take and do light at the top, come down at the bottom, hit the U. Just like that, see how that says U? I'm gonna do S. Just like that. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is, since I got my pretty much my stencils done, everything's done. I'm gonna use with a stencil. So now I'm gonna go in here and start doing some light shade work to make everything come out. And what I'll do is I'll take this and line this up right here, and I'll just do do some light stuff. Don't forget, now you're not trying to get just a great pattern on this thing. Let me show y'all. See how this is? See how the overspray is? Don't worry about that. We're going to go in and put designs. But see, you're just putting a little shadow in there. So when you come back with the white and hit your white, it builds it up. It'll look real good. So, like I said, these are just quick stuff right here. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to come through here. I'm going to hit on the outside of my eagle with this black. Run it up just like this. 
to the bottom right here. And you'll notice also when you hit that little that black gray wash on the outside of here, you'll start seeing that orange pop out and that beat be a little bit better. You know, do your own little look to it. Don't forget though, after you finish airbrushing it, you wanna take it and go ahead, take it straight to the dryer, or if you got a heat gun, go ahead, run some heat under it. I got the uh, bottle of water here so I can teach y'all how to use the water instead of doing my method and I went right back to my water again. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna take and hit the orange. Now that that now that, that black's been hit right there. Sure it's real cleaned out I'm telling you <laughs> you will think that black's out of there and then as soon as you go to hit it bam it'll be black right on your beat and you'll be mad than hell take and go in and don't do all the way up to the red on your shirt but keep keep the orange toward the center that way it'll give you some definition and stuff in the beat and bring on bring all the way down Y'all can do it the way y'all y'all do it the way y'all want to do it. I just know that once I take and drop mine, I'm used to dropping my drops in it. I don't care how fast it goes. I I'm just it's that much better for me. I don't know why I don't like using that ball. Somebody's asked me that before. Don't know. I don't know why. Uh, make sure you clean. Spray a couple times. When you spray in and you spray it, you see the white come through. Don't go straight to that project. Spray a couple more times. Because if that trash is in there, it's just, it's, it's going to pull it to the top and you're going to be one mad motherfucker. Now, you don't want to go too heavy with the white. You just want to highlight it just a little bit. Because you've got all your blacks, blacks in here, remember? So, you don't want to go too strong with it. Add a little white to the beat here. You know, like a little spot. Now what I do here on the letter, I'll get real close. I'll pull right up to my project and I'll hit that white. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'll find me a spot on there. I'll get real close and I'll just hit that white on that letter. And I'll show y'all here in just a second. Let me, show, let me get this right here. See how this is? Show you. I hope y'all can see this, man. See how that is? See how close I can get to it. I don't know how close that is. 
But see, I mean, that's a nice little shirt. And what I'll do is on this A right here, same little detail right there that I just did. Same way. Now what what I happen is I'll take this black. We don't look too crazy. Take this black right here. Uh -huh. Take that black and go right over that A again watch how it does. Just like that. Right. Get back into my white. Make sure all that black's out. Alright, YouTube. I had to uh, switch out some stuff real quick. So I went back and highlighted my um, my letters white right here. So, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this up real quick. Then I'm going to try to make another video because I've been asked, uh, please show us a simple way of cleaning the airbrushes. Um, there is a lot of videos out there that show this, but I don't mind. Y'all ask about it, I'll, I'll show it to you. Do some uh, black highlighting in my letters real quick. I'm done. I'm just gonna give it a little shadow effect. too much you don't want to go too strong with it perfect okay once that's done find out where you use this at you can go back and hit this I'm not gonna hit mine because mine looks perfect like it is so that is it um like I said that's uh the airbrush stencil from where did I say it was from? Coastal. Coastal Airbrush Supplies. Um, they're good people. I don't, matter of fact, I got probably 500 something stencils. But um, this is just something simple. And if you have everything situated and have everything together, you can literally spray this. I would say 10 minutes flat. Be done with a shirt and throw it to the side. Um, USA. Uh, I started to do the American flag scene in the back, but. I wasn't sure, you know, how long it would take me or how much video time I got and how much these batteries die so fast on these videos. But I just wanted to show y'all uh, the United States of America, uh, American Eagle right here. Something quick, something fun to do. I'll just, I'll take this and throw this in a dryer. I'll post up some more pictures on it so you can take a look at it. But um, please like and subscribe down at the bottom. Um, please comment. Please, any kind of questions that you need to ask, ask. If y'all like to see me do something, um, I, I think I may uh, spray a, a AR-15. Um, it won't be today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I may be, I may work it in tonight, but uh, I'm gonna do a Glock. I got a Glock to do. Um, 
So I'm going to do, do some cool things, man. Uh, hopefully some people will see this thing, man, and, and want some of their guns airbrushed because I'm dying to do some guns. But thank you, YouTube. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for everything, YouTube. Peace.